know this from the beginning. You have the, I've explained this again before. When you put in plates and you connect your wires, you have to control the current flow in your plate. If you do not control the current plate, what you do, the flow is very low. The uh, magnetic gravitational flow is very, very low. Don't forget that you have already created a nano structure here. So you have a plasmatic field. In this plasmatic field, when you have created the uh, environment and you increase the current, now in this part of the plate, you work in a plasmatic condition, but a high current. So what you're going to release is literally, if you have zinc, you release zinc oxide. Where in this environment here, you release CO2 in the water. So you get a combination of two. When you put a load across this, which is a small load, then the situation changes totally in a different way, where this produces CO2 and here you produce zinc. So, as I was explaining before we started the session, when you use a zinc plate, it's literally impossible to produce a pure CO2 or pure zinc oxide. So, when you produce this, you produce the two. Depending on how and how much and what you've done. If you connected the wires directly, 90%, 95% of your material is zinc oxide. If you put a load like a LED light or a motor, a small fan motor, 80, 85% your CO2. The problem, it's very, very similar because You see the combination. There is a reason we chose the zinc plate. We are working with carbon. The gravitational magnetic field of the carbon in conjunction allows the creation of a zinc gas. Even when you collect the zinc in the a bottom, it still is in a gans state, is not in a matter state, because you are in the environment of the plate. This plate has dictated the condition, not what is on this side. This environment is dictated by this plate, it's the paymaster, it's a controller. The field of the nanomaterial on the plate sit and crosses the right, the full length. If you manage to create a long enough container and put a copper oxide nano coated on this side and then place different zinc plates in different positions you will see how much the difference will be. I've done this, it's a fantastic way to do it. If you manage to offset them, if you look at this box, if you make it three-dimensional, where your plates uh, sit back to front in a way, one zinc plate hangs there, one zinc plate hangs there, one zinc plate hangs there. You see different type of ganses are collected at the bottom. As the strength of the nanomaterial reduces in different. And at this point, 
you collect more zinc oxide, where here you collect more CO2. I've done all these tests, you can see it, and then when you get tested, then you can't get a confirmation. So, how you load your plate depends. If you are going for, to use the GANS for a specific reason, in uh, the space technology, in the plasma production, in nanomaterials, in, um, in the health pens, then it dictates what you can do, you are going for the psychological, you are going for emotion, or you are going for different way of uh, interaction of emotions. Then you understand, it took years to develop and choose the zinc as a, as a co-partner plate in this structure. Here, you create more environment of a leaf. Here, you create more environment of the psychology of the body of the man. That's how your brain structure works. And if you go inside the brain,